Hey guys, welcome back to my channel where this month I'm sharing with you some of our family favorite recipes. Today we're gonna bring out the crock pot and we're gonna make a crock pot. We've been using this recipe for a few years now. and We really like it, it is our go-to recipe. It's super simple. I will tell you that today I am doubling the recipe um, because I'm gonna be feeding some extra people tonight, which is exciting. So you can keep that in mind. So what you're gonna need is some of your stew meat. Now I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna cut this up into smaller um, pieces. You're gonna need two packs of the Lipton's onion soup, two cans of French onion soup, two cans of cream of mushroom soup, and then you're gonna need a little bit of olive oil, and two tablespoons of flour to brown your meat. So we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna brown, cut up the meat and brown it real quick. I'm gonna add the flour into that while I'm cooking the brown meat and then I'll come back and we will dump it all in the crock pot. Once you get ready to serve it, we use egg noodles, but you can use whatever noodles you like. We use egg noodles and you're just gonna to wanna to boil them in a pot to have ready and serve your crock pot stroganoff. So let's get to cooking. All right, so I'm browning the meat. I just wanted you to see kind of like what size I have them cut as. So we're just gonna get this good and brown. Doesn't necessarily have to be done all the way, um, but you want basically your edges and everything to be brown. While the meat finishes to brown, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna mix the French onion soup, the cream of mushroom soup, and the onion soup packets together in the crock pot. That way I can kind of blend together all the flavors there. And then once the meat is done, we're gonna drain it, sprinkle it with some flour, toss it around a little bit, and then we're gonna go ahead and add that into the crock pot as well. All right, and then I'm gonna let this sit here. I'm gonna cook it on low throughout the day and then it'll be ready when I get up and get ready to go to work. This recipe is super good. The boys are always excited when they know that I'm going to make this and so it'll cook down nice. I will give you guys a final look at the sauce once it's done. I just sprinkled a few tablespoons of flour on the meat while it's still in the pan. I drained it first, put it back in the pan. I just gently sprinkled my flour over it and just kind of tossed it in there. And then I just dump everything in here. That way I don't have to worry about coming back later to add the flour or anything like that. The soups and the flavors just kind of all combine together and it just turns out really good. So I will be back in a little bit to give you guys the final look. So our stroganoff is done. I'm just gonna kind of mix it up here. And if you're home throughout the day, feel free to mix it throughout the day. I was home, I was just sleeping, so I didn't. Um, but just look at that goodness. Mm. So now I'm going to turn this off and we are going, I'm going to go make the egg noodles. All right, so we have it served up. This is just a little bowl for me to eat before I head out to work. All right, guys, so that is our crock pot stroganoff. I did double the recipe again and I'm going to get about eight servings out of it. So a regular, um, if you don't double it, you'll get about four servings out of it. If you try this, I hope that you like it. You're gonna wanna cook it on low for six to eight hours, or you can cook it on high for three to four hours. Either way, whatever works best for you. I will have the recipe linked down below. I will not double the recipe. I'll just post the original recipe down below. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time with another one of our favorite recipes. Bye guys.